Welcome to Vlog Radio. You're listening to Vic Talk Show, and I'm your friend Vic. Today I'm again coming with the same topic, the same global sensation, the same global problem which we are facing currently and panicking around the world. Yes, I'm talking about coronavirus disease 2019. COVID 2019. This disease is gripping more and more people with the fear, not with the death of disease. If we see the statistic of the information who have died with this disease, then definitely we will be more peaceful, less panicful to create more trouble and problems for us and people around us. So today, I'm bringing you statistic information of coronavirus disease. Now this will actually make you comfortable and confident that you should not panic. If I'm in your position without any information, definitely I'm going to panic. But I'm not in your position because I'm faithful on God and I know that God will save me and save all of So please do not panic. Do not take away the rights of others when we are going to buy some products in the stores and we take over whatever we could find there. We don't need to panic because what reports I'm bringing to you, it will open your eyes and mind why we should not panic. Current situation that in global ratio, the global total coronavirus cases found is 169,612 on March 2020. This is global number. Total death, 6,518. Recovery, almost half of the cases are recovered. The recovery is 77,777. Now, what I want to bring your attention to, that the China who had the total cases 80,860, the total death Till day is 3,213 and the most surprising thing, the root of this virus, the birthplace of this virus which is China have only left active patients around 9,800 patients and total death 3,200. Now if we look at this total population of China we can believe that 1.4 billion population of China and in which they have only active cases 9,000. They have total death 3,200 around. We have to understand. We don't need to panic. We're not in China. I'm sure nobody in China is listening to me because the media and the government do not allow any international connection with the world to Chinese people. Now second number, Italy, 24,747, almost 25,000 cases. Total death, 1,809. Now, what I want to talk about, that if we see that most cases from China, second from Italy, third from Iran, I mean, If we see these numbers, these are just numbers of total cases, not the total death. More than half of death are actually from China, which was root of this virus. So why we around the world are panicking? We're not in Italy, we're not in Iran, we're not in South Korea. We're not in those top five countries which is affected by this virus. We're not even anywhere near corner of those countries. Why we are panicking. Even America, which is actually prepared with $50 billion special support, financial backup for their patients to fight with this virus. USA itself have 3,782 total cases and total deaths. 69. Can you believe a population of America 
with 330 million have 69 death how much percentage people are dying with this virus and have any American paid attention that they have more than 700,000 deaths by other disease called cancer and heart but nobody panicked ever before like this nobody ever thought that how many people die because of cancer or heart disease or other even by death of accident is more than 170,000 every year almost 200,000 deaths in America happens by road accident and other but 200,000 a year and this is current situation that we have 69 people died in America with the total cases of 3,782 so if you are in a country of top 10 list even though you're not in China and even in China more than 90% or 80% cases are recovering now so the total death were in the beginning now the death ratio is already lower down government is already controlling it saving their people we don't need to panic if we will lock in ourselves in the country we will lock ourselves in the in the city we will lock ourselves in the street we lock our, ourselves in the home how the world will move on we are the backbone of our family and the company and the country and we are not weak we are not fool who cannot figure it out how and who is dying around the world let's talk about those five countries near China who are affected by this virus the most closest country which is part of China actually Hong Kong total cases 149 total death 4 total recovery 81 active cases 64 serious critical situation 4 more now what we need to understand even being part of China closest border to China why walk and they have only four deaths how can you think that you can die today you're not part of China you're not part of Hong Kong you're not part of that food or culture for which these people died let's talk about those countries which is close to China is South Korea and Japan South Korea have the highest number in Asian country close to China and in this case South Korea have total 8236 cases and 75 total death if we go to another country called Japan then total cases found 839 and total death 24 because these countries are very close to China so the cases are a little more but think again their population is it more than your country no so chances are less just try to understand by this example that the world's second largest populous country is India and their total cases found till today 114 and total death merely two Two death in 130 billion population why should India panic if the population is 140 billion and deaths are two why should we panic if we are clean hygiene and paying precautions to ourselves let's go to another Southeast Asian country which is beyond Chinese territory radius Philippines in Philippines total cases 140 total death 12 have you ever thought about a country with 7618 islands so if you are any of those islands the disease cannot reach you such quickly because it's not one mass land area so you have to understand where the most cases are from what those people background is so the total population of Philippine have more than 110 million population and the country with more than 110 million population have total death 12 total cases 140 why you need to panic 
and I will tell you why you should not panic. Please pay attention and have faith on God. And believe me, whatever information I'm bringing it to you, those are WHO information, the accurate data. You can also Google and find it over there. So before panicking, use your brain and cool down. Second major country in Southeast Asia, Indonesia. A country with 270 million population, total death 5, total cases 117. Thailand, total cases 114, death 1. Malaysia, total cases 428, death none, zero death. Now try to understand the fact that these countries either have more Chinese people around or Chinese cultural food or something around, that's why it affected them. Malaysia have probably the second highest number of Chinese in the country in Southeast Asia. So they are more hygiene, more better, no cases. They definitely have more Chinese who travel for work or business or family. That's why they're being found with this virus, but they are protected just like Singapore. 226 total cases, no death. Thailand, no death. As I was telling you, the most closest country is near to China. There's one more country closest border walking distance kind of Vietnam. Total cases 57. Death, none. Zero. Even they have some similarities of culture and food but they're different than Chinese. Just like Cantonese people in Hong Kong. Taiwan total cases 59, one death. And most probably this person have either one of the closest relation with Chinese food or Chinese person, Chinese family, whatever. So my friends, try to understand. If you are from any of these Southeast Asian country or Asian country, you should not panic. If you're from India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam, Philippines, Hong Kong, you should not panic. So the root of this disease is actually coming from either China or Chinese people because of their cultural or lifestyle, eating habit or whatever. Now, we need to understand where most of these Chinese people are and how these people have infected by this virus. We're gonna take a look on top 10 countries in the world where most of the cases are coming and Chinese are, beside European countries and Iran. Now, as a number of most immigrant citizen Chinese background are, number one, Thailand. Almost more than nine and a half million population in Thailand is Chinese, but take a look, there is almost none cases. Malaysia, none cases, almost six and a half million population Chinese ancestry. Indonesia, 2.8 million population. Singapore, 2.5 million population. Myanmar, 1.6 million population. Philippines, 1.3 million population. So people in Philippines should not panic that much because you have the least population of Chinese in some cases, you have least chances if you're panicking more than these countries comparing to Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, Singapore, or Myanmar, then you can see that they don't have that many cases, then you will not have more than whatever cases. You are safe. Let's go to another country where they are very close to China and their food or culture or other things. South Korea have 1 million population. and. Japan also almost 1 million population. Vietnam, 1 million population almost. It's almost 840,000. So if we see that these are the numbers of Chinese people, which is ethnic group in other countries. And what is the situation in these countries as the virus infected people, then you will find that most of these people are from Chinese background. And if these countries are safe, good, better, then you don't need to panic because most of the cases which is coming is actually China, which is root of this virus and Iran and Italy. 
So if you're watching news and looking at the numbers of death or virus infected, you need to understand that these are mostly covering from China, Iran, Italy, and you're not part of those countries, then you not need to panic or worry about it. Even if we talk about out of Asia, then we have two major countries where mostly Chinese ethnicity people live, US and Canada. US have the highest number of immigrants of Chinese people among Western countries, almost 5 million population. So whatever situation we are having currently in America for this virus, where government is going to spend $50 billion for the safety of their citizen, whatever cost America is paying today is just maybe because of their Chinese trade or relation. I'm not blaming directly, but I'm saying that there is some connection which actually creating the panic and problem today. Because in India, there is no, in, in many other countries, there's no Chinese population or lifestyle or culture. Now, there are different other facts because of which Iran and Spain and uh, Italy or other countries have more cases, but there are those are different facts. And I will bring you that information later on another episode because currently I'm targeting US, Canada and Asia because currently these countries are panicking a lot. And I want every one of them over there to please cool down. Try to understand, bring a pen and paper or your laptop, take a look on these calculations and then think about yourself which number you are falling into, how much percentage of chances of your sickness. And now I'm gonna tell you another reason why you should not panic. If you wanna know the ratio of the death, that what kind of people are dying through this coronavirus disease, then you just need to Google coronavirus age sex demographics report. If you Google this, you will find the report which shows that the total COVID 2019 fatality rate by age is very surprising. And this is the reason you're not gonna die. You should not panic. Let's take a look on this. 22% patients who died globally, I'm not talking about your country or China, I'm including China which have 50% death toll of coronavirus disease, but including them also, 80 years and above have 22% death cases. So in those total death you see or hear or know from the media, which is actually scaring you to get more attention, more news by more fear, don't do that. Before you believe in your eyes or ears, believe in your God and your mind. Because we have gifted by the God and Almighty and the nature, this brilliant brain which no other species on this planet have. Use that. Don't listen to rumors. Don't watch only the facts of those news which is bringing you the numbers of people died and you feel like you will be the next. No friend, you're not the next. If you are above age 80, 22% people died of that age, so you're not gonna die because I'm sure you're not 80 above. If you are in the 70s, 8%, 8% chances of your death because 8% people die by age 70s. 3.6% people died in age 60s. And I'm not talking about global population, I'm talking about total patients who were under attack of COVID-19, coronavirus-19, they are 3.6% of age 60s who died, if they are patients of that. So these patients of age 50s, 1.3% of total hospitalized globally, and if you are below age 50, your percentage is not even half percent. Only 0.39% people died of age 40s and most of the people are actually in 30s and 40s. So here's the fact, less than half percent. How can you be the target of this disease if you're already paying 
precautions. You're doing your best to be hygiene and cover your face and have a good life. If you are age 30s and 20s, the backbone of any country, the backbone of any economy, the backbone of a family and the company is 20s and 30s. What is the death ratio of those as a patient? 0.20. 0.20 if you are in 30s and if you're in 20s, 0.18%. If you're a teenager, 0.18%. These are those people who died being patients under attack of coronavirus. Fortunately, you're blessed. You need to understand the immune system of 80 above is already weaker to fight with any disease. So easily this coronavirus target them. They're being reported on the media. And you just see the number, how many people died rather than understand who died and why. So you have to understand who and why. If you are under those category, then you can understand the chances of your death. If you are any of these three Chinese from China, Chinese in contact with China anywhere or you have a lifestyle or people around you, China or Chinese. If you're not, you're safe. If you're not even in any of these country, which I talked, and if you are in those country, which have most cases, you are still safe because you are not in the age of fifties or above. So my friends, please don't panic. Please don't create more problems for people around you, for yourself, for your family, for your country. Get on the work. Get on the life. You are blessed by God. Even as a ratio, if you want to see that how many percentage of men died, if they are above age 80 or 70 or 60s or 50s, the total death ratio of male in confirmed cases 4.7 and all cases 2.8. Female are actually half 2.8% of confirmed cases in female and total death cases of all cases 1.7. How can you think you can die or get infected by this disease if you are already strong enough? You're hygiene enough. You're not eating bat or cat. If you're not in those cities where this virus being founded or invented or born then you're safe if you have no connection with these three the age the location and the background if you don't have any of those you're safe my friend enjoy your life and live your life there are more cases of different death in america or world the death ratio of covid virus is not even those pre-existing condition disease the cancer have more disease and death. We all are safe. We all are blessed by God. Pray to the God for those who are, have a patience. Pray to the God for those people who are under attack of this virus. And just have a faith on these data, these statistics, that if they are above age 80, then chances are less. If they are below 50, then they have more chances to live. And if you are one of those under attack of this virus, even if you've been found, then only three or four percent chances you have death close to you. And I'm sure you're not. Get out of grip of this virus. This virus is killing by its fear, not by disease. And you can fight back with this knowledge this information which I'm sharing with you. I hope uh, with my all this information, you have gained more confident, more comfortable, and more faith on the God that you are safe. Please do not panic when you go out to buy something, or even if you have a fever or someone have a fever or cough, it does not mean you have to stay away from that person immediately. You have to cover yourself, but normal fever or cough is not a guarantee of his death.
probably it's just normal fever or cough or even if that person above age 50 then chances are more if below age 50 and even if this person have corona disease still this person can survive only 5% cases of death been found and most of them are from China so you're not in China you're not part of China and you're not Chinese then you have to breathe and pray to the God and bless to each other have a blessing have a good time enjoy your life don't fear of virus fear of your deeds take care good luck and goodbye